It's getting colder in the Northwoods again, and staying warm is no easy task. But one Northwoods group is using their artistic skills to keep themselves and others toasty. Newswatch 12's Muhammad Abdul Kawi has the story. They say it's such a rush. It's pretty much addicting. There's skydiving, there's bungee jumping, and then there's quilting. The creative process just kind of gives you joy. It makes you look outside yourself and see what's going on out in nature, out in the world. An addiction that all started back many years ago for Jean. I slept under a quilt when I was a little girl. <laughs> that was really, I would say, that is my beginnings. That was sitting, down, sitting in bed at night and trying to figure out how my grandmother had pieced those pieces together. Catherine's start to quilting was a little bit different. I was always drawn to them, and my sister is a lot older than I am, and I would go to visit her, and I would look through country living magazines and ladies' home journal. While their origins may have been different, what keeps them quilting remains the same. We have a great group here in the North Woods, but worldwide, I mean, there are just, and they're all the same type of people that really come together. And when you're together, everybody is usually in a really good mood and really happy. After all, they need this type of passion if they are going to do such hard work. If I worked, you know, like a 40 hour week, made it my job, I could probably do a an average size quilt in, in a couple months. This is just one reason to have a quilter or two in your life. I'm a good person to know if you want a nice wedding gift. In Rhinelander, Muhammad Abdul Kawi, Newswatch 12.